psyllium husks. You already know what they are and why I personally love them. But if you need a reminder, head over here and watch this video. But long story short, psyllium husks are the best bang for your buck when it comes to soluble fiber. And unfortunately, most of us do need more soluble fiber in our life. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to actually integrate more psyllium husks into your life. And I get that question a lot. So how much psyllium husks to use? What kind of recipes can you do to actually use them? So we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into that today. And I'm gonna give you three ways of integrating psyllium husks seamlessly into your life. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Jess and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist with a practice focus in gut health, celiac disease, and plant-based diets. One way of integrating psyllium husks into your life is actually sprinkling it into different foods. So you can sprinkle psyllium husks into cold or hot cereal, into smoothies, into scrambled eggs, into yogurts, or even just plain old water. But a little note on cold cereal while I have your attention, you want to aim for a cold cereal that has maximum 10 grams of sugar and minimum 4 grams of fiber. So 10 grams of sugar does still sound like a lot, but you'd be surprised when you start flipping over those cereal boxes and looking at the nutritional facts label. So you just want to aim for one that has minimal sugar as possible, but max 10 grams of sugar. And when you're starting to sprinkle psyllium husks into your food, start with a teaspoon and then slowly build your way up. So week one, start with a teaspoon. Week two, move up to two teaspoons. And week three, you'll be at a tablespoon, which is where you'll be at for the rest of the time. And don't forget to drink lots of water with psyllium husks. So besides sprinkling psyllium husks into different foods, you can also bake with it. So in the description below, I've included a recipe for a low carb psyllium husk rich bun and also a fiber rich protein pancake. But one of my favorite ways of getting psyllium husks into your life is this life changing bread, which I will show you how to make in a second. With psyllium husks, if you're going to be using it as a binder or as an egg substitute in vegan recipes, the formula you want to be aware of is this one. So you wanna do a quarter of a cup of water plus a half a teaspoon of psyllium husks, and that will be equivalent to one egg. So anytime a recipe calls for an egg, feel free to use that formula. Okay, so, so far we've talked about which kind of foods you can sprinkle psyllium husks into. And I've also shared some recipes on how to bake with psyllium husks. But if you're looking for the most simplest solution possible to get more psyllium husks into your life, that would be Metamucil in all brand butts. So the secret ingredient in Metamucil is psyllium husks, but they've just made it a little bit more user-friendly by adding a little bit of flavoring and making it dissolve 
way easier than just plain old psyllium husks. So if you're gonna use Metamucil, do a scoop a day. And if you're gonna do all brand buds, aim for about a half a cup a day. And you can sprinkle those into your cold or hot cereals or your yogurt with fruit and granola. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well. And don't forget to head to the description below and grab those recipes for psyllium husks.